Hello everyone, welcome to my channel DevOps Mela. So in the previous video tutorial, we talked about how to restore a database, how to create a DACPAC file. In this video tutorial, I'll be creating a Visual Studio Solution package file and I'll import a DACPAC file inside the package. So before we proceed with the practical, let's talk about what is a Visual Studio Solution file. A solution file is a way of organizing project in Visual Studio. The solution maintains the state information of a project in two files, one text-based file and one binary files. Okay, so let's proceed with the practical and let's create a new project in Visual Studio. So I'm using Visual Studio 2015 for creating a new project. So I'll click on create new project. This is a SQL Server database project which I'm using. It's already highlighted. I'll click next. I'll give a good name. So I'll name it as Adventure DB. Won't change the look default location. I'll keep it the same location. I'll the solution name is also Adventure DB. I'll place a solution and project in the same directory. Okay, so let's create. So the creation hardly takes 10 to 20 seconds. Here we go. So the project is already created. So as if now it's a blank project, we don't have anything. So let's import a DACPAC file. So just right click on Adventure DB. Click on import the data tier application DACPAC. Click on it. Click browse. Browse to your location where you have the DACPAC file created. So my DACPAC file is right over here under SQL Server Management. Open. Rest or other options would be default. I'm not making ch any changes. You guys can make changes based on your requirement. Okay. I'll click start. So if you if you see at the right hand side all the tables all the store procedure everything is getting imported inside this new project which we created so it's already done click on finish let's go to the location where we have this solution file created So the solution file was created a user source repos adventure db this is a solution package so what it has so the most important file adventure db dot solution this is the this is the file which will be which will will be using for creating an automated ci cd pipeline and this this is the important file and we have all the data structure database structure the functions the store procedure tables which is required for making any deployment in future okay so first come first let's push all the changes to our remote repository which is right over here i'm using azure deep azure azure repository for this tutorial you guys can use git github gitlab anything Okay. One important disclaimer if you don't want to spend time creating a DAC pack, creating a solution file, or restoring a database, I'll I'll put everything, all the files right in this repository and I'll make it public. Those the link would be in my description. You can directly go ahead and download or clone the copies for yourself. And you can directly work on the CI CD part. Okay. So in my next lecture, I'll talk about how to create a CI pipeline, how to make changes to your DACPAC file, and how to auto deploy those changes remotely. All right. Till then, see you. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.